In this video, I will show you how to search, navigate, and pivot from host records in the Census Search UI. Let's start with an example host record. In addition to finding host records using full text or field and value searches, you can directly navigate to a host record by entering its IP address. In this example, we are going to navigate directly to the record for IP 8.8.8.8, .8 Google's public DNS. On the Summary tab, you can see top-level information about the host. This includes DNS and routing information. On the right is a map widget that shows the approximate geographic location and accompanying details of the host, if this information is available. Below the basic information on the summary page is a list of services detected on the host, along with their port number and protocol. When available, additional top-level details for a service like the HTTP response code and response body, the HTML title, and TLS and certificate information are also provided in this section. In the Basic Information and Service Details sections, you can select hyperlinked values to perform a query for that field and value, or to navigate to the page for the linked resource, such as a certificate. You can click View All Data for a Service Entry to jump to the complete scan data for this service in the Host Data Table View. Information about changes to the host record are available in the History tab. You can see when services were added to hosts, locations were updated, and fields were changed, among other activities. Free, Solo, and Teams users have access to one week of historical information. Pro and above users have access to at least one month of historical data. To see all of the observations that Census has made of a host's services, even ones that resulted in no change to its representation, click the Show All Observations button. You can also click a linked timestamp to view the host record at the indicated point in time. You can select two events in the history timeline to compare them. If you only select one event, it will be compared to the most recent event. The Who Is tab shows who is, ASN, and registrant information for the host. The Explore tab provides an interactive visual representation of the host and any related certificates, names, and hosts. Orange items are hosts, green are certificates, and blue are domain names. This is a useful place to pivot from the host to other things you may want to investigate, like certificates. Click and hold a node to open the pivot menu to see the options you can explore. Note that each pivot from the Visual Explorer will count toward your search query quota. From the raw data menu in the right corner, you can view the host data in a table or JSON format. In the table, top-level host information is available at the top of the table, and information for each service is provided below. The host data table is particularly useful for finding additional field and value pairs to pivot from. You can click the magnifying glass for any pair to run a query for it. Now that you know more about host records, let's walk through the search results page for hosts. Let's run a query that will return a large amount of results. We will query for hosts that are located in China. Remember that you can configure whether to include virtual hosts in your results by clicking the gear icon. Click the command line icon in the search bar to generate a curl for your search query that you can use with the Census Search API. Note that you will need to modify it with your Census API ID and API secret. The host and service filters available on the left sidebar are a select group of parsed fields gained from census scans that enable you to quickly narrow the results of your search. For example, let's select the Telnet service name to add that to our query and filter our initial results. To further narrow our results, let's then use the login page label to identify hosts running Telnet with exposed login pages, a risky host. Starting from the broad initial search for exposed hosts in China that produced approximately 16 million results, we now have narrowed our search to 81,000 results. We could then click the command line icon to generate the curl for this query if we want to incorporate it with another tool. We can also leverage the reports feature to see a grouped representation of this data sorted by a field that interests us. For example, let's group the results for this query by the port being used. We will use services.port as the breakdown field. With this report, we can see that the majority are using port 23. It can also sometimes be valuable to examine which values occur less frequently in a report to identify outliers and items that we should investigate further. For example, if we searched for Cobalt Strike Services and broke down results by the autonomous system name, we might want to look at the systems that only appear to have one Cobalt Strike server running, which is interesting and unusual. 
Census Search users on a paid plan, including Solo and Teams users, can utilize matched services to highlight the specific services and ports on a host that match a Census Search query. This enables you to quickly analyze results and save time in threat hunting investigations. For example, when I run a search for hosts in Russia that are running RDP on an account with matched services enabled, they are presented at the top of the host details in my search results. When I run the same search on a non-paid account, the matching services are not highlighted, and I will have to dig into the service records to locate them. That wraps up our tour of host records and searching hosts.